Hi there, it's Babs here for Madam So, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use both of the darning feet that are included in the 32 piece set. Um, both of them will require you to use either the tool that you have with your sewing machine or a flat headed screwdriver. And you will also need to have a cover plate for the feed dogs for your sewing machine or you'll need to drop the feed dogs because we'll be using these two feet to perform some quilting. So if we take the first foot, it needs to be attached on the side and you have a metal circle, which is where your, your needle will be going and you'll be looking through that circle to define your pattern um, as, as you quilt. Now you'll be moving your fabric around and the position of this foot will be driven by the needle bar, uh, raising and lowering the, um, the actual foot itself, which gives you the, the ability to then slide the, the fabric back and forth. So um, so that's the, the sort of non-mechanical version. So we need to unscrew the shank that's already there and remove that first foot. And we're going to then place the bar over the needle bar and slide it around. So we now have the foot attached and you just tighten up with the screwdriver to make sure that this is nice and secure. You need to make sure that the needle will pass smoothly through the centre of the eye and as you can see moving the needle back and forth allows the foot to raise and lower where it's being controlled by this back bar. So what you'll need to do is start your quilting from this point. So make sure that you've got either your presser feet um, down and away, or you have a cover on them like I have here. Um, we then feed through our wadding, lower the presser foot, even though we're not engaging the feed dogs, we still need to lower the presser foot to get the correct tension from beneath. Now drop the needle, raise the needle, and then pull up the yarn from the bobbin and to bring that up to the top so that we have both ends of the yarn at the top of our work. Hold those to one side out of the way and then we can start to quilt. So I've come to the end of the sample stitching that I'm going to do for you. We'll loosen that up. We can pull out those loose threads. And there we have our quilting from the front. I just need to tidy up some of those, those loose threads there. There we go. So here we have our quilting from the front and from the reverse. And that's using our first foot and I'll just show you the same process but with the second foot, with the spring. So here we have the second foot which is the spring loaded version which has a clear base plate so you'll be able to see the work that you are quilting very clearly. It's attached to the side um, as, as previously and this time it is actually controlled by a spring. So this is placed over the needle bar and then as the needle is raised and lowered that will raise and lower the spring which allows the quilting to move underneath so let's get this attached and set up I find it easier to push up to raise that spring which will then give me the space that I need to tuck it into the foot release the spring and then tighten the screw and you should be making sure that this bar is over the top of the needle holder one more time. So we'll just tighten that up with a screw just to make sure everything is safe and secure. And um, you should have the bar above the screw holder and this will then engage the spring. And as you move the needle up and down, you can see the uh, the spring lifts and lowers that foot. So we'll just get set up as before, bring the lower thread through to the top of the fabric and we'll begin quilting. 
so here we go and again we're moving the fabric because the feed dogs are no longer in play And here we have the quilting created by the spring loaded foot. I hope that tutorial was useful to you and if so, please subscribe to the Madam So channel for more tutorials and information on the Ultimate Presser Foot set. I'll see you around for the next tutorial. Bye for now.